Yo Rebels, what is going on? Welcome back to Hunger <laughs> Welcome back to the English class with Rebel Guy where we learn how to speak. So, first thing you wanna say is welcome back to Hunger Games on the Mindplex, since we are doing the one hot bar slot challenge, which you guys have been suggesting like crazy cookies are forever. Yes, I agree. I cannot help but agree. I don't know what it is. What? Anyway, <laughs> so I will not be able to use any hot bar slot. When I say use, I mean interact with it while not in my inventory, basically. Except the very first one. It's, I chose the very first one because I'm used to switching to it for a weapon or whatever. And um, since this challenge is quite difficult indeed, I didn't see a point to make it even harder for me by like choosing this one available hotbar slot to be, what, number 7 or some random thing like that. <laughs> um, I've attempted this a few times. Uh, it's extremely fun. It's very challenging, and it's just so different to all the other things that I've done when it comes to challenges. It is probably the most unique challenge I have ever done, and I love it. I really do love it. I haven't been very successful yet. There's been some really awesome moments, but I've, at least I've gotten a feel of, you know, what to expect and things like that. Uh, I think I am I'm night class. Am I? I gotta double check. I was contemplating choosing... Am I Axeman? No, please, please, please don't tell me I'm Axeman. Because I didn't choose a class, did I? Oh, this is problematic. Nope. I didn't choose a class. I forgot. I was contemplating choosing Assassin class, then Brawler. Oh, there's, there's possibly a team. Oh, no, it's not. I've been bumping into teams a lot in Solo SG. The problem with that is not the teaming itself. I don't mind that. I'm never going to report anyone. Because I don't support the uh, thing they've done where you can get... Um, you know, team are spanned. Um, the problem I had with that was that I, I wasn't ready for teams. I don't expect teams. That's actually pretty good. We got an iron sword equivalent. I don't expect teams to just randomly come at me while playing in solo SG. That's the problem I have with it. Not the fact that they are teaming. Alright, there's a difference. I, I don't know if it makes sense to anyone, but that's how it is. Alright. Let's eat. Oh. Oh god. Alright, let's switch to our weapon. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, this guy's picking up all the crap now. That was a mistake on my part, alright. Oh gosh. He's got that ground pound going on. Let me show you guys something really cool that you can do. If someone's got ground pound, if you stand somewhere like here. Oh. Bye bye. <laughs> I guess his party leader left. That's the worst. <laughs> Good fight, sir. <laughs> I'm sure you would have done just fine. There's no need to be scared like that. <laughs> oh boy, that was so unexpected. Anyway, what I was trying to say before he rudely left... <laughs> what you can do... Let me keep this cake. One thing you can do is you can stand underneath something, and when they ground pound you, you just get knocked up a block or two, and uh, you don't have to worry about fall damage or them getting crazy combos. It it's basically... Easily ignorable if they ground pound you like that. So that's something I found. It's quite useful in my opinion. I've been I've been abusing it a lot lately. <laughs> Jokes. Alright, I have an idea what we could do here. I want wheat, really. Supplied up cornfield. I don't think I'm gonna make that. Wheat, come on. Ah, uh, seven, not quite enough. But this is what I wanted to do. We need one more. Ah, oh, there we go. Beautiful. So now I won't accidentally this person does my own footsteps. What? Now I won't accidentally use any of my other hotbar slots. Because there's nothing to use them for. I cannot interact with these items at all. So I can just have them here as a... Uh, a... How, how would you call that? A hotbar slot filler. Whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. I hope so anyway. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's, that's the reasoning for that. Similarly to how we had the rotten flesh in the five hotbar slot challenge just with wheat this time, because wheat is a little bit more friendlier, and um, it's I don't, I don't get as scared when fighting people. At least not as scared as, the one, as that one guy did who left before anyone got the first hit. That was golden. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, it's so frustrating when that happens. You might recall an episode where I was in a, in a party with Captain Butter Venom. Oh, hello. And uh, I was recording 
and I was gonna win the game. I was just about to basically deal the final hit of the game when suddenly he leaves and I get dragged with and I just I just start raging so much. <laughs> that was the worst moment ever, in my opinion. <laughs> Alright, uh, that was a pretty sneaky cleanup. It was successful, so you know, I don't regret doing it. But yeah, Diamond Sword. Dude, I'm pretty slacked here. The only problem with the situation I'm in is I don't have what's it called? Night class. Which means that I won't have that additional um you know, that additional damage and, and blindness. The the additional advantage over other people is what I was trying to say. So, um, it, it should be fine, I think. As, ah, dang, I was just about to say, as long as no one initiates deathmatch, you know? <laughs> uh, what I could do, I don't have a compass, damn it. I was gonna say, find someone to make it a three-person deathmatch, at least. It would still be better than, um, four people. Because I won't be able to hit anyone back with a fishing order or anything. I'll have to go in or on, and there's not really anything in between. I can't play that strategically, that's the problem. It's very restricting. What could I do? What could I do? Hmm. I have a bow, but is it worth it? Actually, yeah. I have the sword here. Oh, you can't. That's so stupid how you can't change TNT. I have the sword here, so th then I'll be able to maybe get a sneaky bow shot on someone before deathmatch starts, and uh, you know get them low by what three hearts or whatever, depending on what armor everyone has. I think that'll be the best I can do at this point. But yeah, interesting challenge. Very interesting challenge. <laughs> I don't ever upload attempts where, you know, I don't get a decent amount of action going on. So, I guess this one has been the most action-packed episode so far. I didn't hit it. That's okay. Alright, let's just stay back here. Hold my wheat. Look, I'm innocent. I'm, a, I'm just an innocent farmer. <laughs> Alright, this guy... Ooh. Okay, there's been a fight going on over here. That's a pretty good sword, I can tell. Oh, no, I don't want to fight you, really. I guess it works. I got... Yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I didn't get hit once. Great, 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 great. This is a good start. This is a good start. So now if I chase this person, he's going to run into this guy. No, maybe not. Oh, he was that low. I assumed him to be like a couple of hits away at least. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nope. Oh, God. Hmm. No, <laughs> that was insane. See, I don't have my mushroom stew ready to go. I don't have my bow ready to go. So we'll just have to try and juke him as much as possible. Oh, the sneaky turn back tactic. He's done. That was a good fight. He didn't see that one coming. I think he thought I was way lower than what I was. The reach is unreal. I know, right? It's so unreal. People don't get that reach hacks still aren't a thing. They still haven't been invented. <laughs> but yeah, that was a solid effort. I like it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. That was the one hot bar slot challenge. The, the, the thing that makes it so challenging is the fact that you can only do one thing at a time. There is no such thing as getting fishing out combos or bow shot combos or anything like that. You basically have your sword and you have your food and there's not really much in between you could do. <laughs> but anyway, until next time, stay rebel and goodbye.